Did you know that you can actually use Ableton Live for video editing? And it's actually pretty easy to do. So go in to your files and just drag any video. And actually, it doesn't even need to be a video. It can just be a picture. But in this case, we're just going to drag one of my Ableton videos just like this. And straight away, if you press play, if you're trying to increase the width of your track using the utility audio effect. You can see there that it plays the video and it shows the video. And it just functions like a normal Ableton system. System. So if you, for example, get rid of the volume there, you can just play it without any volume. You can put the volume back on. Just like this. Try this instead. You can even add effects and all sorts of stuff, all the cool things that you can do with Ableton. So the other thing you can do as well is you can actually drag multiple pictures and files. So I downloaded this picture before, or this video of a cow grazing. So let's just listen to that. There's actually no sound, but you can actually see the cow grazing. You're trying there. to increase the width of your track using the utility. But because you've got the audio from my previous video up, you'll hear both audio. So for example, if I drag in a, another video, so let's just drag this one here in. It's actually called drag, <laughs> funny enough. You'll be able to hear audio from both of the videos. This is an amazing Ableton hack that will save you. This is an amazing Ableton hack that will save you so much time. Now if you're track. producing, okay, so you've got the two voices basically of each video overlaying each other. And you'll notice that you can't see the cow anymore. So you can actually see it at the beginning because that's Guys, guys, there. guys, this is an amazing Ableton hack. <laughs> so you can actually see the cow, but only until you get to this point here, because the way the system works is one level overrides the other. The way to see the cow through the entire video is to put it on the bottom like this. Guys, 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 this is an amazing Ableton hack that will save you you're so much time. Now, if you're track, a producer like me, you can still hear the audio from the other, because obviously this is an audio system, so you hear the two audios together, but the one that will take precedence is the one on the bottom. I don't exactly know why that is, but that's how it works. And I think it's pretty cool. The other thing you could do, obviously, is you can do things like chopping stuff up. So we can chop this cow up, right? We can just remove and delete that little bit. So once you do that, let's just get rid of this audio. Once you do that, then the next file takes precedence. Now, by the way, the preview is a little bit jittery, but the actual export works fine. So that's just one thing to take into account. And actually talking about exports, when you go into file, export audio and video like that, you just got to make sure that the encode PCM is on and then you can create video. Once you create the video, it'll go directly to MPEG-4. I've never seen go to anything other than MPEG-4. If there are other ways of doing it, then let me know. And then there's this encoder settings, which are just simply telling you what resolution you want to send them to. So for example, and you can actually increase and change the frame rate and the bit rate. It even gives you an estimate of the file size. So it does export just like audio. So I think that's pretty cool. And I think a lot of people don't really know that you can do this with Ableton. And I'm not saying it's the best video editing tool. There are probably a lot of better ones out there. But if you go to TikTok and other sort of things like you know, Instagram, TikTok or whatever, you do see a lot of songs where the vocal is chopped up. And it's very hard to do that with a video editing tool, but it's actually easier to do it with Ableton. So I hope that helps with the video aspect of Ableton. If you've got any questions about that, please put them in the comments because I answer every question. Bye.